Sanctions on North Korea simply will not be eased based on the hope of talks over its nuclear program. His statement aimed at tamping down concern over a reported offer from Kim Jong-un that hints at a breakthrough on one of the world's most dangerous matters. Correspondent Rich Edson reports tonight at the State Department. Senior U.S. officials and world leaders are diminishing expectations for possible nuclear negotiations with North Korea. This is just the beginning. I believe we are not yet at a situation where we can be optimistic. South Korea's president says sanctions will continue against North Korea, even as North and South Korea meet next month at a summit. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is still pushing countries to cut off trade with the North. As for North Korea's offer to negotiate its nuclear program, senior officials and analysts say they've seen this approach before. This is not our first rodeo. We've been on this before. Uh, we've had eight international agreements with North Korea, all of which failed. So I, I think it's it's good to be deeply skeptical, although we can should try again. In the 1950s, with the help from the Soviet Union, North Korea began its nuclear program, insisting it was peaceful. In 1985, it signed on to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, promising not to develop nuclear weapons. But by 1989, satellites discovered evidence of a weapon. Weapons program. The North Korean playbook, really consistent through three generations, is, is really a two page playbook. Uh, it's provocations and threats and even attacks. Uh, and then the second page is charm offensives. In 1994, North Korea threatened to withdraw from the non proliferation treaty. In an agreement with the U.S. that year, Pyongyang committed to freezing its plutonium weapons program in exchange for aid. Years later, the U.S. again discovered evidence of weapons development. By 2002, the U.S. says North Korea admitted to having a clandestine nuclear program. Then, North Korean leader Kim Jong-il ejected international inspectors from the country. Months later, he withdrew from the non-proliferation treaty. Years of negotiations with regional countries followed, and in 2006, North Korea detonated its first nuclear bomb. As the U.S. negotiates these security issues, there are economic pressures between the allies. President Trump's proposed tariff on steel would hit significantly and likely South Korean producers. The U.S. and South Korea are also renegotiating their free trade agreement, one the president has called horrible for the United States. Bill. Rich, thank you. Rich Edson from the State Department. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, meanwhile, is in Africa tonight. He starts a five